that stuff right here. Some so, serious sweat. Right. It's, all, it's all the rocks. See that? It's like a margarita shaker. Some, some sweat shots. Yeah, shakers. shakers. Yeah. You'll have some sweat shots today, that's for sure. As you're going, just lick your mustache. It's for the, it's for the thumbnail. For the thumbnail. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, it worked. All right, guys. Happy Hour Friday. Hopefully, we're all feeling good after this week's workouts. They were. Uh, That's good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> feeling it already. Uh, they were definitely challenging. Uh, we have a challenging series of workouts this week. A lot of conditioning, aerobic conditioning for the most part. It was good overall. I liked, uh, I liked it a lot. A lot of man makers in there. Karen, Karen liked those. Karen liked those. Yeah, we had. She said she liked those better than. Uh, Burpees. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did see that. She wrote an email, right? Yeah, she had wrote an email. She loved it so much that she wrote an email. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll take a cut of that. We'll, we'll program some more, right? Of yeah, course. We always want to give you guys what you want. Cater to the, cater to the people. Right? Absolutely. Yes. That's what we're for. It's all about Donald. It's all about you guys. It's all about you guys. So, you guys call for more map makers, we will program. Absolutely. Nice. All right. Cool. So, uh, being that the week was a lot of aerobic conditioning, let's go to some strength base, right? Let's run a little bit of strength, a little bit of, little bit of gymnastics combined. Uh, today, as always, we're going to walk you through that warm up. Uh, we are skipping mobility because we're sprinkling in some strength today. Sprinkles, yes. sprinkles. Strength slash. Uh, body control, a little bit of gymnastic strength, Turkish aka Turkish get-up. Turkish get-up, right? Turkish get, up, what yeah, up. Turkish get up. so that's going to be our strength, we remove mobility, throwing that in there. Uh, we're only doing 10 per arm, uh, so it's not going to be too bad. And then our workout for today is a 12-minute workout, not intended for you to really go very high in intensity today. Okay? We are going to have some isolated rowing, so renegade row, working on that back and that bicep. We're gonna have some deadlifts. We wanna try to go as heavy as possible with whatever the heaviest weight that you have at home. Uh, so it's intended for you to go nice and slow, take a couple seconds of rest between your reps before you go to the next movement, right? So not, you know, three rounds, 12 minutes, three rounds of this should be enough, three to four rounds. Get about 30 reps in and you'll be, call it a day for today. All straight, all yes. Friday, get the happy hour. Yeah, we'll get going. Yep. So why don't you guys look at swole for a happy hour today. All right, with that said, let's get into it. Into it, let's go. Let's go. All right, we are starting off our warm up. Two rounds, not for time, because it is a warm up. Uh, 100 meter run, 30 second jog. Uh, total, so it's just a little run out your door, and then you can run back. Oh, look at this. Oh, people we have this. not seen this. What is this? What is this? Machine from the devil. Is that what it is? Okay. All right. So we are doing uh, 30 seconds of work. How are you working? Okay. I don't know. It says, it says stop. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't say go. It just says stop. <laughs> <laughs> so we are doing 30 seconds of conditioning or 100 meter run, 30 seconds of running place, jump rope, whatever you want to do, 30 seconds of that, okay? We're going to stop, we're going to do 10 good mornings with any object that you have laying around the house, okay? You can do a good morning, uh, we'll, I'll show you what those are once we get there. We're going to do snatches with any object that you have around the house. And then, uh, lateral squats, which you will not do. Lateral squats, he can knock those out, he's really good at those. Uh, and so that would be our one we're doing two rounds of that, okay? Two rounds. So just to make sure that we have the timing down, I am going to start a clock. It's going to count up just for those 30 seconds of work. All right? And I'll keep it going, actually, for the rest until we get to our workout. So in 10 seconds, you guys will start your 30 seconds of work. So will you, Bill? And five, three, two, one and we are moving.
Three, two, one, and rest. To everyone at home, you may rest as well. Hopefully you're coming back from your job. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, hopefully you're coming back from your job. All right, now we're going to go into the good mornings. Okay, this is this good morning is intended to stretch out your hamstrings and your lower back. You can have minimal to no bend in those knees. And then you're just going to hinge forward by driving that hip back. That object, you're holding it wherever you want. Okay? And you're keeping that back straight. We are doing 10 of these reps. Very nice. Very nice. Yes, out in front of you is going to stretch out the hamstring a little bit more. If you hold it on your chest, it's going to stretch out the back a little bit more. It's going to activate the back if you're holding on your chest. Out in front of you, stretching out those hamstrings a little bit more. Nice work, Bill. Notice how Bill's laying on his heels, okay? He's well balanced. Everything nice, tight back. Very good. All right. With any object that you have at home, you may do some snatches. We don't have a lot of objects here, unfortunately. Oh, there you go. You can even dumbbell. If you have any, try to make it as awkward as possible. <laughs> I kid. And you're doing 20 snatches. A snatch is just the most efficient way of grabbing something from the ground. Taking it overhead in one single movement. You're gonna notice how when he goes down to the ground, he does not go out in front of him, he goes in between his feet. Okay? Uh, try to get as close as you can to your heels as you're driving up overhead. He's also bringing that butt down a little bit uh, so that when he picks it up, he's not using just his lower back to pick it up, he's also using his legs to pick it up. And then standing all the way up, nice straight posture at the top. Right back down, do it all over again. A total of 20 reps. Once you're done with 20. Uh, lateral squats. On these lateral squats, we're going to start slow. They do require a lot of mobility. Uh, so Bill, although he does have the required mobility to be able to do this movement, I'm going to have him start slow, not go full depth. And after every additional rep, he's going to get lower and lower uh, just to warm him up those hips. So, very wide stance. Okay, wide stance. Even wider than we would do a sumo deadlift, okay? Arms out in front of you for balance purposes. You want to make sure that you're keeping your weight on your heels and you're just shifting your hips from side to side. One leg bending, the other one is not, okay? You want to do it a little bit harder where you get absolutely zero rest. This is 100% activation. You're just shifting without standing up, okay? You will not let your glutes rest um, if you do a movement like that. And then Bill's mobility is off point. He is now doing that full lateral squat, driving that hip below the knee. Notice how he points that other toe up to assist with that range of motion. It's a total of 20 squats, 10 per leg. Nice work, Bill. Thank you. I like seeing you do those. I love you. Give, give me a goal one day. This is the hard one. This is the hard one. This is Oh! Oh my god. Oh! See how low you can stay to the ground. Oh. Ouch. Ouch. Speaking of ouch, back on that bike for another 30 seconds. Okay, I'll give you a countdown. We'll go at the 15 second mark. 3, 2, 1, and go. Not neglecting the hamstrings or the glutes. Okay, so that is a 
Very good. Nice work. Once again, he's doing 10 of these reps. Very nice. Very nice, Mr. Brooks. What are we looking for? A bag, a plate. You go with a plate snatch. A table? Oh, okay. You want to snatch the table? Okay. Oh, that's right. I would see. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's going for the for the plate that was behind the table. Okay. Alright, so with this snatch, same concept, exact same concept with any object that you're doing. You want to make sure that the object is touching the ground right between your legs, and then using your legs, okay, you're driving that weight up off the ground and then activating those shoulders, those hips, pushing overhead and standing straight up at the top of every single rep. 20 snatches, any object that you may have, the more awkward the object, the better warm up you will get. Why stability, that's why. Speaking of stability, can't wait to get to start your game. Good work, Thank you. Fills up in the high 80s, yeah. This is, this is about as far as the world. I still haven't recovered from that. From the bike. <laughs> and he's going to finish off with his lateral squats, those type of movement. Now that he's warmed up, the quads are warmed up, the glutes are warmed up. Ankle flexion is good. He's going all the way down from the beginning, doing all 20 reps. The last two, three, four reps, we're going to see Bill's secret little move. That's better. His little show off move. That's better. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like a ninja. Impressive, very impressive. I challenge, challenge you to give that a go. If you're able to do that, send a video. Show us. If you're not able to do this, send us your attempt. Give you a couple of laughs. <laughs> nice work, Bill. I'll give you a couple seconds to recover from the bike. It's only a minute. It's only a minute. Oh, <laughs> you can snatch it. No, it's a minute on tomorrow. Alright, we are at the with our warm up. With our warm up. We have finished our warm up. Step one, part one of three parts today is complete. You can check that off the box. You can feel good. Yeah, you can feel good that we finished that. All right, we are now going to go into our Turkish get up. Yeah. Turkish get up is a six part movement. Um, it's essentially a movement. start on the ground and you stand all the way up. Now, there is a right way to do it and a wrong way to do it. The wrong way to do it is not doing it the right way. Right? Right. You know? Yeah, right. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so, if you do not follow these steps exactly, you are doing it wrong, okay? There's a reason why we're doing these steps because these steps are the best way, the most efficient way to keep your body stable and balanced as you go through this to get weight overhead if you're laying down. Okay? So as you can see, Bill started off laying down, arms to his side, he's gonna bring his right knee up, create that knee, that right heel is on the ground. If that right knee is up, that means that our right arm is directly out in front of us. Iron Man pose, right? Palm towards the ceiling. Okay, and here go your steps. Alright? With that arm that's out to your side, you are going to do a sideways sit up onto that elbow. Boom. Okay? Notice how you didn't sit up forward, you sat up sideways. From here, continuing to focus on that palm, palm 100% of the time, facing towards the ceiling, he's going to extend that elbow. So now it's a palm to palm linear line here, pointing towards the ceiling. Okay? This is now going to create some space for him to be able to drive up his. Hit. Now he's in that solid bridge, squeezing the glutes. While he's there, he's now created space for that front foot to drive back into a sideways lunge. His legs are in a lunge, his body is to the side. Notice how he still has that linear line, palm still towards the ceiling. While he's doing this, his upper body is just going to control it and go into a regular lunge, okay? While he did that, there was a lot of movement going on, okay? 
That whatever object, the air on his palm, did not move, okay? That stayed facing towards the ceiling the whole time. And then from here, he is just going to stand up and out of that lunge, okay? Notice how he's still focusing up because we are not done. We're only halfway there, right? We're going to reverse lunge. So that same leg that you stepped up with is going to go back. You're going to go into the sideways lunge, okay? Linear line. Good. You're going to drive that leg forward into a bridge. Squeeze the glutes. Perfect. You're going to drop the hip. You're going to drop the elbow. And do your sideways sit up down to the ground. Beautiful. I went into detail there, um, but that is what you're doing, okay? And we're doing five sets of two per arm. So Bill's about to finish set number one on his right arm, okay? He just did two with his right arm. No weight, I recommend no weight for your first set just to warm up. And now he's gonna do two with his left arm. Um, and that will be done with set number one. He'll do that an additional four times. Increasing weight if you are able to do so as you go. Once again, any object here will work so long as you can stable it out away from your body. Good. Oh. Three reps down. And one rep to go for set number one. We are doing five total sets. Good work. Nice side of sit up. Focusing, looking at the ceiling. Okay, picking up, picking a little speck at the ceiling and looking at that speck the whole time. Hopefully it's not the, what, the, the leak. Hopefully it's not the leak. No, the leak somewhere more than a little bit that Hopefully it's not the leak. All right. Bill is done with set number one. He has four more sets to go. He's gonna take a breather. This is on your own time, okay? Um, probably, it shouldn't take you more than about 10 minutes to complete. Okay, 10 to, 10 to 15 minutes. Grab equipment, grab objects every set. Try something different every time, okay? Try a baseball. Try something a little bit more load-bearing. Uh, try something a little bit bigger, but light. I mean, whatever have in the home, try different things, okay? The more awkward the object is, the more stability that's required, okay? And although it's lightweight overall, 10 pounds, it's still strength work, okay? Still strength and stability. And we are doing two per arm. So two per arm, notice how Bill is electing to do two straight with the right arm and then with the left arm instead of doing one one and then two two. Good. Nice, good bridge. Okay, that's a step that a lot of people tend to forget is when they drive that leg forward, they go straight down to the ground and they don't go into that bridge. Okay, it's important to go into that bridge. This rep will be what is typically seen around the Doing it wrong? Dropping it. Yes. Okay, so Bill's gonna do one incorrect movement um, on that bridge just to show you what it, the way down. it should not look like, and it's on the way down. Okay, trying to skip a step which is right here. Notice how he went straight down to the butt, and he did not hold that bridge. It's important to hold that bridge before you bring that butt down. Your Facebook was not recording. Uh, that's not. But this is still going. Okay. Cool. Sorry, Facebook. It was recording. It was recording. Yeah, Bill, I turned it on. I saw. Is it Instagram recording? That needs to be. Bill. Bill is done with set number two. He's got three more sets to go. He's going to take a breather, take his time. He's going to calculate and see what other object he's going to use. And then he's gonna go after it. I am going to bring him some objects to challenge him a little bit, something a little different, right? To show you that you can do this move with any weird object. Is that slider? Is that slider? Slider a little awkward. Okay, balance. There's gonna be some weird balance. You're gonna be building. Which way? Okay, good. Oh, hold on. Is it possible? Yes. Yeah? <laughs> If there's a, just be careful with your head.
good tight bridge, keeping perfect form through everything, breathing throughout the movement. challenge you guys at home to go as heavy as you can on that last round. Take your time with it though. Don't rush through it. Stabilize each position until you have that balance and that stability in your shoulder and your core. Yes, it's not a flowing motion. It's not directly from one movement to the other. If you do the movement, pause, do the next movement, pause, and so forth until you get through all six steps. If you're using a weird object at home, we want to see it. Send it over to us. Okay, I want to see what you're using, how well you guys do it. I uh, will send you some pointers as well to help you next time. Good. See, movement, pause. Movement, pause. Movement, pause. Movement, pause. Movement, pause. Movement, pause. And then you reverse. Movement, pause. Movement, pause. Movement, pause. Movement, pause. Movement, pause. Movement, pause. Okay. So that is on 
the way. Uh, so that's important, guys, because if you try to go through this movement too fast, even if you're using very light weight, okay, you can potentially mess up and lose that stability. I can almost guarantee you if you try to do this movement too fast with heavier load and an awkward load that's not evenly balanced, you will mess up. Okay, and that weight will come down. Alright? Good. And build down to his final two reps.
Okay? And if you're using a barbell, we are doing the exact same thing, but we're using both hands to move the weight, which means you should probably have a little bit more weight on that barbell uh, if you are able to do so. No, no, not for you. Oh. <laughs> I'll talk about in comparison to the number of in, in comparison to the number of kettlebells, that barbell should weigh more than your dumbbell. Okay? All right. So, 12 reps of those. Once again, these reps are not for speed. They're not for time. I want you guys to focus on form here. Okay. We're gonna slow things down to focus on form. Today is not quick. Not quick today. Did you hear that? Bill's favorite combination of words. Not quick. You said not quick. <laughs> All right. Once we finish those two strength training movements, we're going into a little bit of gymnastics or gymnastics, as most people call it. Gymnastics. Yeah. And it's going to be a hollow rock. For a hollow rock, there's one point of contact that is your lower back, upper glutes. Okay. Everything else comes off off the ground. Shoulder blades come off the ground. Heels come off the ground, and then you're walking like a teeter totter. Okay. Going back and forth. We are only doing 12 reps of those. Okay? I say only, but you'll start to feel it very quick. Every time your chest comes up, it's one rep. Okay? So make sure. So your chest is going to go back, almost make contact with the, your, your shoulder blades, are almost going to make contact with the ground. As soon as it comes back up again, that's that rep. Right? Every time you come forward, one, two, okay? Counts as a rep. Yes? Good question. Alright, uh, and your final movement, the pipe press. The pipe press, you can elect to either have your feet elevated on any object, okay? The higher the object is, the harder the movement, okay? Uh, you can also elect to do it without any elevation of those feet. But what he's going to do is he's going to create this little V by sticking his butt up in the air as far as possible and his toes uh, on the box. Only his toes. Okay. Once he's there, using his shoulders, he's driving down at the top when he has those elbows extended. Notice how his body shifts towards that box and notice how his head is always facing the box. Okay? I don't want you looking at the ground, I want you looking at the box. That way the top of your head makes contact with the ground, not your face. Alright? If you're going to go without an object that you're going to stand on, it's the exact same thing and you go onto your toes. Okay? Uh, and not as challenging, but still pretty darn challenging overall. Okay? <laughs> Those are your movements for today. That's it. That's all. That's, That's it. Fun. 12 minutes. Once again, we're not doing this for speed. I want you to take about three to four minutes per round. Okay? The longest movement is going to be that renovate, only because we're doing 12 per arm. So it's a total of 24 reps. So that might take you um, about a minute. But everything else should be about 30 second increments. Okay? 12 deadlifts in about 30 seconds. 12 hollow rocks in about 20 seconds. 12 pike press will give you 30 seconds if you need to catch your breathing. Right? Add it all, add it all up together. Uh, and we are looking at that time frame of three to four rounds. And it is a 12 minute hand wrap. I'm gonna count up to that 12 minute. Yes! Alright, here we go. 10 second count. Go! Start off with that renegade row. He's doing 12 per arm. He's knocking them out. Using a 45 pound dumbbell. Keeping a solid plank. Notice how there's a little shift. That is okay. That's for stability purposes. Once again, the focus is on that arm that is pulling. Okay? That is the focus on the bicep and the back. Okay? That is what we're targeting with this movement right here. The plank just makes it harder. It's more stability, it makes it harder to breathe, it gets that heart rate up a little bit, it gets you tired, okay? But the focus is still there on that bicep and that back, that fully motion, okay? 12 per arm, good work. Bill completed that in 45 seconds. He's gonna take his time to walk to that barbell. He's going to set up, make sure he has a good setup. He's gonna drop the butt, have that back tight, ready to go, back, and he's going to do 12 reps. Now Bill, because he's very strong, he's probably going to be able to do these unbroken. But for those of you at home, if you're using a bunch of weights, one, make sure you have good form. If you don't have 
the form, take a look down, but you want to break it up into sets, okay? Two sets of six, okay? A set of eight, a set of four, whatever you feel like would be best, all right? And Bill has finished that, so you can go into a couple of gymnastics movements now. Starting off with the hollow rocks, nice little teeter-totter, seesaw type of motion here. Feet come up about two feet to three feet off the ground, and then they go down to about two to six inches off the ground, okay? You don't want your heels to be making contact every single rep. They might make contact every once in a while, but that is not the intention of this movement. Same thing with your shoulders, okay? Your shoulders should not be making contact with the ground with might, but that's not the intention, okay? Bill is at that 85%, so he might be able to catch a breather a little bit. We're only two minutes in, so he wants to maybe bring that heart rate down. If he wants to, he can, or he can wait until he gets to that to the low movements, low bearing movements, to bring that heart rate down. Make sure you're breathing in this pipe press. You are in this inverted position. Might be a little bit weird, you might forget to breathe. So make sure that you are breathing. And Bill did a great job of bringing that heart rate down because now he's in uh, the very low 80s, high 70s. During this movement, exactly where I want him to be, okay? Strength-based today, guys, strength-based. So today is your opportunity, if you have weight, to add some weight um, to your movements. Okay. One round now, this is Brooks. Three minutes in, right on pace, right where I want it to be. Good. And now we're going to go back to those renegade rows, get to that point. Starting with the left arm this time. Okay. Little hinge, little twist in that hip, that's okay. He's generating momentum. He is using a 45 pound dumbbell with his hip for this movement. Generating a little bit of momentum in that hip, in that rotation. You hear him working. Now he tells me to touch. Yeah. <laughs> Take your time, recover before you get to the deadlifts. Or you can do two sets of six. Nice work. Because the right arm is stronger, more stable. Doing a good job of controlling that body. Less wiggle going on. Very nice. Very nice. S, yes, and, and build those have.
harder to hit. Okay? If you let your feet come towards the back end, uh, it's a little bit easier because your, your butt's not going to be so high in the air. The closer you get up to this side, that butt comes up higher, you are more into an inverted position right there, which means you're up and down. Right there, okay, which makes that look a lot harder. Six. He decided to go six and six. Okay, that's how challenging it is. Six on that. Six on that. Yeah, so six on the boxing challenge or something. That's what we want to see, right? We are in a control um, movement here. Okay, you want to control your time. Once again, we're not doing this for speed. Okay, we're not doing this to see how fast we can get through this. Today's workout is intended to do to be for form. You want to make sure you're doing it right. Okay. Oh, he changed my He's going back up. Okay. He took a little bit longer of a break because he elected to go to the harder movement. Good. Nice. He saw that he was doing a little bit too much of a push-up, not isolating the shoulders enough. So what did he do? He took a couple steps with his hand closer to the box. Once again, inverted a little bit more. Got that butt up into the air a little bit more. And you hear him working for these reps. And he is working for these reps. Although he's 30 pound lighter, this movement is still very difficult. It's still too dirty. <laughs> it's still too dirty. Good work, guys. Bill's done with round number two. Okay, he's about to start round number three, so he's definitely gonna get that uh, that goal that we want, which is the three rounds. So he can do one of two things. He can take a little bit more of a break um, and just work his way through these movements, or he can keep the same pace and get into his fourth round. Completely up to him at this point, but he hit the goal that I want for today and that we want for today, which is a minimum of three rounds, minimum of reps for each of these movements, okay? That's a great strength day, okay? We do 36 reps of four different movements within 12 minutes, okay? Sounds good, okay? Get the heart rate up a little bit, make it hard to breathe, and picking up weight when it's hard to breathe is what we love to do. <laughs>
system where we want you to focus is complete at this point to try to get as far as you can with the remaining 35 seconds. This is what we will allow for you if you want your heart rate to come up. We will allow that. We have 30 seconds left. Slower paced workout, still very difficult. A little bit of weightlifting, which has been hard for us to do, so we can finally get that opportunity. Bill is in the red. Um, so the final 10 seconds, going to that bar. Five, three, two, one, and done. We are done. Bill's tired because he stepped it up in that last minute, but if you don't feel too tired, that's okay. okay? Strength based today. Strength based today. Uh, grab a little bit, hopefully you grab a little bit more weight than you've been using for these workouts uh, up to this point, okay? Um, and you guys did an amazing job. How's it work, everybody? Good work, Bill. Good work. Uh, that was fun. Yeah, a little bit slow, right? It's nice to slow it down a little bit. Nice to slow it down. It's not always about 100% effort, guys. It's not always about 100% effort. With that said, it's not always about working out every day. Make sure you get some good rest. Make sure you eat healthy. Okay, rest is very important. Okay, it's very important. Just as important as working out and resting is just as important for recovery. Thank you guys. We love you. Let us know if you guys have any questions, any concerns, any comments, anything that you need. Let us know. We are here for you. Um, and we will see you again on Monday. Have a good weekend.